And it's not like we woke up today and all of a sudden we were in this crisis mode. There's so many things that have been historically at play to get us to where we are today. And if we just go, we need housing, we need housing now and let the market lead, then we're gonna continue to get the same thing that we've been getting. The specific start was a conversation between the team here at the Eastside Freedom Library and the team from ABC Realty. The truth is, I was doing some professional development. <laughs> and this program required me to do a project. And I'm thinking, hmm, what do I want to do my project on? Well, I decided that I wanted to do my project on the home ownership gap in Minnesota. White people on the one hand owning homes at about 75% of their population, people of color owning homes at about 25% of theirs. We decided that we were going to do an event, gather the community uh, here in this space, and talk about this issue. We thought that the home ownership gap was a place to really focus. But when we opened our doors and invited neighbors to come in and, and tell their stories, um, we began to hear more stories about the challenges that renters face in, in managing and surviving, the challenges that people on the verge of homelessness or people who are homeless that, that they face. And many of them said, Home ownership is so far out of reach for us, we really want to focus on what we need as renters or as people trying to find a secure roof over our heads at all. So that was in April, and Peter came back to me in um, May and said, you know, he said, there's a lot of people uh, that, that are interested in this topic. I said, yeah, dude, right? <laughs> I didn't, I, I couldn't have ever guessed. And he said, he said, I have uh, the opportunity uh, to get my hands on some, some documentaries about housing. We thought that an effective way to prompt focused conversations uh, was to use film uh, as a resource. We showed Sold Out, followed by a community conversation. We showed Jim Crow of the North, followed up by a community conversation. We showed Detroit 48202, followed by a community conversation. And every time people came back to, to continue conversation, and we got a lot of new people. What brings me out here is the people and um, the topic that we're talking about, homelessness. It's all about housing, so better housing, really. Opportunities to get housing, renting out houses. What brings me here tonight is being an advocate as a long-term and episodic homeless survivor. I came to the East Side Housing Summit um, because of one, I live in the East Side of St. Paul, and two, I teach in St. Paul Public Schools, and I see homeless or highly mobile students every single day, and I see how it affects their lives. It really needs to be brought out into the community. Um, so, for, But for now, we're gonna break you guys off into the three groups, rental, home ownership, home ownership homelessness. The conversation circles um, is what really ignited the passion you know of the people to create groups that were small enough that people would not be intimidated um, about speaking out uh, but large enough that they could include a breadth of, of experience and generations genders races there are some really impressive conversations some conversations there's that's not really talked about normally so it's like it's a really good opportunity that everybody's here tonight talking about it. I was homeless. Um, I have a group called Freedom from the Streets. Nothing will ever prepare you for the isolation of being homeless. You know, I don't think 11-year-olds should have to be sleeping randomly in other people's couches. And then as more people talk, you just notice, oh, that was, that's a problem too? Oh, that's a problem too? That's why I come to places like this. You don't know what's gonna happen unless you show up. To watch that process take place was so gratifying and inspiring. And, and I think it, it really makes us feel like 
we're doing the right thing here. What I'm hoping that this summit will do is start the conversation around housing inequities in St. Paul. I hope it will lead to some answers. I want to see lots of change. I want to help ignite change. This has been a project that's brought together a number of partners. We can look back on what we've accomplished and feel that it's had integrity and, and, and had effectiveness. But we're at this challenge now of how do we move from democratic storytelling to action. People are going to get tired of just telling their stories. They're going to want to see some outcomes. I don't know how to do that. I don't know how to take what we've built and infuse it with the resources to make it live a long life. We're also wrestling with what's the difference between meeting needs by providing services and promoting social change. So our last gathering was one largely by invitation where we reached out to organizations that are already engaging housing issues in some way. We started to think about that meeting using the term best practices. If we wanted to move from conversation to action, what could we learn about the best practices in housing activism? I would like to see the movement create the possibility of large-scale development happening with community instead of happening to community. Mm -hmm.